Marvel, the most exciting dice tower race that we do. It's actually the only race we do. This is I'm your host, Tom Basil, and I'm Mike Alicio. And as always, in the stands, we're joined as always, as always, <laughs> last week in the stands, we're joined by Chris Key. Reporting here from the stands. All right, good enough. Anyhow, <laughs> folks, we're going to get started. We, You've just missed the first per hour. You know, this is the off TV stuff. Right, they do yes. WWE, what do they call that? I don't remember what it's called. Here we go. <laughs> the, these marbles don't have names. They don't They're deserve just names. That one marble looks suspicious to like Clown Tom. Well, Clown does have a lot of people who dress up like him. I would say that's All right, all right. That was not a bad race there. All right, folks. We're going to get started here. Uh, one marble got lost. No one cares. By the way, folks, if you have not seen it, check out Board Game Breakfast on Monday to see our new track being built for this. It is amazing. Very exciting stuff, Tom. We have some new racers this week, don't we? We do. Let's take a look. At the racers, here we go. What's missing amongst most of our marble racers? What is missing amongst most of our marble racers? I don't know. Uh, the audience is saying legs. <laughs> that's close. That's close. It's 
But it's also including Mike, and Mike has legs. No, it's humility. 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 Uh, so uh -huh. this is our annual last is first race. Okay. So in this time, if you come in last at a particular race, you're going to get points. But we'll talk about that in a bit. But here's how this is going to work. We're going to be running 16 racers each round here, Mike. And the first three will be eliminated each race. Actually, no, I'm sorry. The, the last three that uh -huh. aren't the final one. Uh huh. So last is good. Now, this is an elegant, elegant situation you've got it set up here. I got to tell you. I don't disagree. We're going to be running really eight marbles at a time. So let's tell who I'm we got. Saying, you're not saying who we got. Ice Ice Baby, Snot Rocket, Pretender, Mr. Blue Sky, Eye of Storm, Quicksilver, Goblin King, and the Speckled Knight of Teton. Only right. one of these marbles will be making it to the final round. Okay. Here we go. Here we go, John. Let's take a look at this. New convoluted system you've got moving on here. Not convoluted at all. I just pulled the crowd. <laughs> Did you, Chris? Convoluted or no? All right, so what happens here is these three marbles have been eliminated, but the Goblin King stays in. Okay. That's how that works. All right, well, apparently you have to be as old as Mike to feel like it's convoluted. Old as Mike is a new racer. I wouldn't <laughs> make fun of him. I saw that. All right, so here we are now eliminating... The, the, the second last two, except not the last one. Got it? It makes sense in my head. That's all it needs to make sense this time, because no one else is going to be able to figure it out. Here we go. They're still bunched closely together. Is that snot rocket in the front? Yeah, but it doesn't matter. Goblin King! <laughs> well, that time it didn't work out. So now, only the last racer of these three will make it. Now, the uh, rules are, Mike, though, you don't make it all the way down. You don't count as you the last count. racer. Okay, so... So we got... Um, these three racers. <laughs> Will Ice Ice Baby make it again? Oh, oh Snot Rocket's Snot out. Snot Rocket does not even Snot have a chance. Snot Rocket is not making it to the end. Oh, that was Whoa. close. That was close. But Ice Ice Baby is our first entry. Man, Ice Ice Baby makes the finals a lot. They know he how really to. really does. Ice Ice Baby usually can get into the mix, but cannot usually find their way. All right, winning. round two. We have Gray Fox, Oyster, cousin of Snot Rocket, by the way. Oh. Um, BB Great. Electron High, Flaming Hot, and Blood Puddle, which, mm -hmm. not sure why they're both put why in the do you same do this bin. To yourself, Tom? I, I am understand. not the person who picks where they go. That's a stable manager. Okay. And Florida Weather, and No Mercy. Here we go. Wow. One of those two red marbles really was going down. I don't know what's Yeah, but it doesn't matter. You just, well, you don't want to be this, the last, the second last three. That's right. All right. Well, No Mercy. Mercy, indeed. All right. Mercy me! Tom, I've just finished polling every person in the audience, whew, and I can safely say that they are all searching the Board Game Geek forums for understanding your rules. Ah, uh, that's fine. We'll put an FAQ up tomorrow. Mm -hmm. When I say tomorrow, I mean tomorrow the way some company said they'll have the FAQ up. Correct. There we go. Both of the, yeah, I tell you, it's, it's going to be... All right, well, you don't have to worry about one of the red marbles. It's been yes. eliminated. It has. But the other one's still in it. Do we know which one it is, Tom? You know, we're going to check with the thing. Oh, it's Blood Puddle. Great. Blood Puddle is still in the mix. That's fantastic. It's Blood Puddle, Florida Weather, and um, Electron High, I believe. Okay. All right. Well, let's find out. Only oh, the last one's going to make it. So you want to be slow here. Blood Puddle's not going to. Oh, no. Just shot to the front. Oh! 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 What's going to happen, Tom? They did all finish. It's not going to be blood. Well, that is Electron High, then. Electron High. That's two classic racers from the very beginning in this thing. It's also two racers with a long name. You know what? One of these days, we'll stop hearing that complaint. But <laughs> It won't be today, Tom. <laughs> we got Unicorn Dream, The Moose. We have Dreamsicle and True Love. Uh, Montana Marble. And the Red Planet. All right. All right. Mike's least favorite is pollen, I can say. Especially in spring. That's right. But would you rather have spring? That's what I'm thinking. Spring with pollen yeah. or winter? I think it's a hard, that's a hard one, Tom. How about neither? Here we go. Coming on down. Oh, my goodness. Well, speaking of pollen, see you later. Yep. That's three marbles out. We will now get rid of two more. And they're off. Oh, oh, we already lost somebody in the top of the track, Tom. So only one of these models will be eliminated, but you know, it won't be the last one. Nope. True Love, I think, is safe. 
True love is safe, but I'm sorry for all the fans of Creamsicle. Or I say the, the, the weak ass. Be nice, but then true love needs to be last because true love is last. True love is last. That's not true love. I gotta tell you, that's sting. Lasting. Oh, you're right. Oh, oh, it could be. It could be. It could be. No. Wow. <laughs> true love did not want to win. In any other race, that would have been great, but no. Uh, I believe it is uh, Unicorn Dreams. The audience is disappointed that true love's positivity didn't make it out, but Electron High's negativity made it through. Thank you. Root beer <laughs> chemistry <laughs> joke. That's fantastic. Root beer float. Champagne bubble. Root beer float. Jurassic amber. You know that the, the chat meaning. is going going wild right now with root beer float in the mix. Yellow days. Slush ball. Where is the machine? The machine is missing here. Oh my goodness, Tom. That's a controversy. We're missing a racer. We're missing a racer. The machine is gone. Well, meanwhile. Uh, I'm a Vegemite kid. Maybe we'll find the machine later. If not, I don't know what to tell you. It's fallen into the mall. Oh, the machine has been found. Hey, there you are. The machine was. But they're not making this race. The machine was I running, to, running for people to, who the, late. to the restroom. They did not get back to the starting line. All right, time. good job, slush ball. But uh, again, oh. root beer float. Look at that. Well, out of the mix. I hope y'all enjoyed the short-lived <laughs> root beer float. Sorry, folks. As soon as we get a cream float racer, you'll see that uh, much Mike, more successful. Mike, you cannot change culture. <laughs> I can try, Tom. One race at a time. Is that clown? Meanwhile, should we be room for clown? Come on! Oh! Well, no, that's not a bad Clown's thing. Clown's okay right now. Because clown is still in the race. It's only the last two except for the last one. Here we go. So we've got clown. This is clown's best shot here. It really is. Clown, slush ball, and is that yellow days? Yeah. So yellow days won once. Clown has never won. Clown has never won. Clown is usually not even in the mix. But this is the last shall be first. Let's see. Can Clown find its way to victory by being... No, it cannot. <laughs> Come on, Clown. Pay attention. Not paying any attention. It is Slush Ball. Slush Ball. Well, you should be happy with that. It's a shorter name. No, it's really not, Tom. All right. We have our first, our first four racers. All yeah. racers who have been in before. No one knew. Nobody knew, but uh, yeah, that's, that's a good point. Pretty Pretty Princess. Cotton Candy. Travel Buddy. The machine finally decided to show up. Nice job, machine. Molten lava, eye of the pharaoh, Aussie tourist, and Dirty May. Dirty May. Is there a reason you picked that for your name? You wonder. <laughs> Ready? I don't know, Tom. I gotta feel like there's a story behind that one, but it's one I probably don't want to know. Here we go. They're coming on down quickly. Dirty May is definitely in the mix. Oh, we've lost a marble, Tom. Yep, that's one out, but that's not the only one out. These two are also out. So much for Pretty Pretty Princess and Aussie Tourists. Yeah. This isn't the time you want to go visit Australia, apparently, Tom. Yeah, well, I'm still kind of rooting for Cotton Candy just because I like the way it makes you squirm. That's right. Oh, my goodness. The, the racers Farrow are just not choosing not trying. to race. I choose not to race. Oh, come on, Cotton Candy. That was not the time to do that. Oh. All right. We're down to the final three. The machine is still in it, though. Machine is in it. Well, it's... maybe being late in a last shall be first race <laughs> could be is a good idea. That's Only true. the last one makes it here, folks. Here we go. Tentatively making their way, ready for the final push, but they don't want to go too quickly. Does molten lava have molten it? They lava. have to finish. They did molten lava. Molten lava. Wow, I am kind of impressed with the lack of new. Racers there. These are all racers that have been there before. They are tried and true champions. Well, and champions. Nemo is in now. Oh, now we got some new ones here, Mike. Here we go. All right. We got Moonbeam. Moonbeam. Oh, sorry, let's try it again. Moonbeam. Moonbeam. Raspberry Ripple. Raspberry Ripple. Okay. Mm -hmm. Jackson Pollock. Mm -hmm. And Misty Shadow. Okay. The classic avocado. The one you always get mixed up. Tony. <laughs> And Street Smarts. All right, so we've got one a of the mix. few marbles I know on site. Right, we've got a mix of old favorites and new racers. And here we go. Here we are, moving on down the track. Those new racers are hungry. Well, Jackson Pollock is certainly going for last. They sure are. Oh, oh maybe my, not. Maybe not. They. Oh, well, never mind. Uh, well, there goes Jackson Pollock and Street Smarts. Goodbye. That was fast, but Raspberry Ripple, one of our new racers, is still, still in. in the mix. Now, if Raspberry Ripple and Strawberry Shortcake end up in the same track, that's going to be interesting, Tom. I would never, ever choose Strawberry anything over Raspberry anything. I'm here in the audience with uh, interviewing the 
recently booted out of Jackson Pollock's family. They're disappointed, but they're all going to go enjoy a nice meal together at the Jackson Potluck. Got it. And speaking of Rexburg <laughs> Ripple, I thought you were going to say they were disappointed, but also appointed. <laughs> um, so avocados in the mix. It's Moonbeam, Avocado, and Tony. And Tony. Tony. Here we go. It's great. Oh, that Did was an incredible that? move by Avocado. He jumped over the ropes. It's the, the pits. WWE. Oh, no. Looks like it's going to be Tony, my favorite racer, because it's only four letters. Man, someone's going to send in a racer just called uh. <laughs> you should. The good news is Molten Lava is in the race, right? Hey, they look exactly the same. This is fantastic. I'm going to look at them right now so I can tell the difference. <laughs> You'll never remember, Tom. Uh, fat Stripe is Molten Lava. <laughs> All right. There's no chance that that's going to work. You don't know that. <laughs> we got Speckles McGee, Toffee Slice, and Bumblebee. A couple of new ones in there. Dove, Bluey, Yellow Bird, Firestorm, and Confetti. Now, I know we're professionals, Tom, and we're not supposed to pull for any of these racers, but I am clearly going to go out there and say I'm pulling for Toffee Slice. I love that name for I'm pretty a racer. sure that was a Chris joke. Toffee? No, no, it wasn't a joke. I was Pulling being serious. Toffee? Oh, I, was, I wasn't even trying, Tom, but thank you. No, I actually love Toffee, so... Whoa, too, Confetti, nice, nice. That's too bad the time to Toffee come is out of the mix. <laughs> That's true. That was a quick uh, intro for Toffee, but one of our other new ones, Speckles McGee, is still Speckles in. Speckles McGee is still in there. The audience is wanting to inform the host, Tom, that you oh. pull Toffee, you pull Taffy. You pull Taffy, Tom. You can pull anything you want. Toffee is... Toffee is hard. Taffy is soft. <laughs> All right, only one marble. <laughs> Speckles McGee is out. Sorry, Speckles. All right, so we got our final three here. For this one, we got Confetti. We got Bluey and Yellow Bird. Bluey and Yellow Bird. All right, here we go. Bluey and Yellow Bird came in in the same stable, if you remember. They did. And Confetti. Wow, this is an interesting. It's they, they last, all, last. All you want to do with me is it looks Bluey. like it's Bluey. Mike likes Bluey. I a like short name. Bluey. Bluey works. Tony and Bluey back to back. All right. Now we have Amnesia <laughs> and Old as Mike in the same race. I got to feel like that wasn't an accident, Tom. Old as Mike actually came out of retirement. This is actual backstory. True backstory I got in the mail uh -huh. because he heard about the new racetrack. Oh, nice. I believe he's from Liverpool. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm... I might be wrong, uh, but... I probably am, actually. He's from England somewhere. Well, we'll see if... All right, Leaf on the win. Old as Mike and Grandma's new hip are in the same race. You know Jack you've got Jack Skellington, Kimura, who was in last race. Yep. Uh, oh, Mike, your racer's in. Blood Moon. Blood Moon. Whale and uh, TNT Dynamite. All right, well, it's going to be interesting because Blood Moon is used to going Either for way, first, Mike has, Tom. Mike has more than one racer in his race, it seems. Blood Moon, as you all know, is Mike's personal racer. Wow, if, look at that. If it doesn't do well, Mike pays the price. Look at that. That, that. that does well. That's first, Tom. That's second. Second, Tom. Who's in first? I don't well, know. old as Mike, that was a quick jump. Look, I got to tell you, it's time to take a nap. But Amnesia's still here. Amnesia is still here. And so is your Mybor, Mike. Amnesia's still here. I'm going to keep saying that. That's a joke. Here we you go. You don't have to actually explain jokes. This... <laughs> Amnesia's still here, Tom. Oh, look at this. Look at, oh, no. Mike, that is not. Blood puddle, run stupid this whale. <laughs> <laughs> Although right. whale's okay. It's only five letters. That's, so we have whale. We have um, born of ashes. And we have, um, I'm not sure which one this one is. Um, well, let's see if they win, and then I'll figure <laughs> it out. Here we go. It's last is first. It's looking good for whale. Looking good for whale so far. Tom. Looking really good for whale. This yeah. is oh. oh, oh no! All right, well, that's not <laughs> how you play whale. Blood of ashes. Blood of a lot of blood going on. I'm just gonna write ashes, Tom. No, it's TNT dynamite. I don't Thanks, know why I said that. TNT. Just write TNT. All right. All right. This is born of ashes. Oh, Sorry. Okay, okay. I was reading the wrong one. And then we have Fox, the Duke of, of York. <laughs> the Duke of Drop. Duke. Duke of York, Valen, mm -hmm. African Sun, New Racer, Tenta Swirl, mm -hmm. uh, Gray Swirls, oh, okay. and High Ho Silver. Definitely not a ball bearing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And they're up. Here we go. Oh, my goodness. Moving on down the track. 
Moving on down, moving on down, drag. Look at that ball bearing. He just, I mean, looks that, like African sunset's going to make it in. It does, but that's Is it not sun good. Or sunset. Um, I don't know. I'll look. <laughs> Hey, Hi Ho Silver made it. It did. That's very impressive. Away. It is uh, African Sun. Okay, African Sun. Here we go. Here we go. Two will be eliminated in this race. Whoa, oh my whoa, goodness! Oh. Hi Ho Silver just oh, oh. He got stuck. It's always that's seems a to real happen. shame. Oh, and he took out Tenta Swirl. Oh my goodness! So there's our racers. Huh? Now they're out. All righty, here we go. African Sun, and um. Duke of York and, oh, Born of Ashes. What are your thoughts on the York Peppermint Patty, Tom? The York Peppermint Patty is good to eat once every three or four months. That's a that's a very specific time frame. Sure, I can go with that. No, I mean, I just. You don't want them too often, but they are refreshing, Tom. And it's Duke of York. There we the go. Race. Speaking of Duke of York. That's what I'm saying. I couldn't, I couldn't binge on them, but I could. All right, our next one. We got Storm. And Grandma's new hip. All right. Wait, but didn't we already do this one? We have done this one already. Give me one we haven't done. All right. Things are getting crowded at the starting line, Tom. Gang Green. Stardust. The Upside Down, if you remember, was our winner last Indeed. week. Indeed. Ocean Waves. Terrapin Titan. And Dead Spring. A couple of former champions. Yes. Terrapin Titan That's and... Um, upside down. Heavy hitters in this track. Hey, if there's Tom. one race you think the upside down would do well, and it's the one where you come in last. One would think. I don't think. <laughs> and no. no. So, uh, maybe the upside down just didn't feel like it was worth trying. All right. Here we are. Round two. And they're up. Dead Spring just shooting to the front. Dead Spring... I think that's going to go from first all the way down. They led that whole race, Tom. They did. Terrapin Titan barely made it in. But Terrapin Titan was last. That's which what matters. I'm saying. That's what I mean. So Terrapin Titan could if they do that again. We got Terrapin Titan, Dead Spring, and that orange one. <laughs> Here we go. Oh. Who I will tell you come what, Terrapin last. Titan, I think, is going to find their way to, to, to victory by being the last, Tom. Yep. That's it. Terrapin Titan is back in. This is definitely a race of long names. It is. I'm not By the way, folks, don't don't send in marbles that have extremely long names because I also have to type them in in the end. That intros. is correct. That is correct. Crystal Ball. Dairy Queen. Red Sonia. The Patriot. The Brute. Remember when there used to be a day we were scared of him? Wasabi. Yeah, no, he's become a Nova fan favorite. And Megalodons. All you think right. a shark marble would do well, but the answer is they're about as good as all other sharks, which is not good at all. Here we are. Dairy Queen. Oh, oh wow. You just Nova is gets completely stuck out. And Nova. Nova. Wasn't Nova in last week? Nova, I believe, was in last week. Oh, well, there you go. Sometimes size problematic, and a patriot also gets out. I thought right. Dairy Queen was behind the patriot, but maybe not. That was not. That was your eyeballs. We'll find out, Tom. That's fine. Yeah, <laughs> because the last makes it in. Oh, that was the last one. Yes. Okay. Dairy Queen was last. I thought there was one in front of it. Okay, or behind it. And if not, now Mike has me doubting Don't myself. Don't you worry about it, Tom. I'm sure the the, the, the the chat will be very forgiving of you. Dairy Queen is still in it, but there goes Wasabi. All right, so we got Crystal Ball, Dairy Queen, and this red and yellow one. Which is Red Sonia. We should have Dairy Queen and the Upside Down in the same race, Tom, since that's the way they're supposed to serve their blizzards. You know, I've never cared if they've done that. Now, they give it to you free if you don't if, do that. If I don't get oh, did you see Dairy Queen? Red good... Sonia makes it in. If I don't get my Dairy Queen served to me Upside Down, I am talking to the manager. Really? No. All right. <laughs> You're kind of afraid to talk to the manager anyway. I'm definitely not talking to the manager, Tom. We have the Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> We have Force Field. We have Mint Chocolate Chip. Oh, I do like a good Mint Chocolate Wrecking Chip. Wrecking Ball. Cat's Eye. Strawberry Sugar. <laughs> cupcake. And League of Sprites. Would you like a Strawberry Shortcake Cupcake, Tom? Is that something yes, you can Yes, because see? anything in cupcake form is of the Lord. All right, here we go. 
This is the race of food, except for um, not Loch Ness Monster food. Loch Ness Monster is Man, out. Strawberry Shortcake finds its way to the front. Amazing. That's true. Unfortunately, there goes Mint, Mint Chocolate. Oh, no, no. I only took out two. That's Thanks right. to Loch Ness Monster. Okay, so we got three foods in here. We do. We got Cupcake, Strawberry Shortcake, and Mint Chocolate Chip. And then a couple other marbles. That don't. That really don't matter. As League much. of Sprites. Wasn't League of Sprites in last week's race? Yes, I believe it was, Tom. Cupcake is the winner oh, of the like infamous. Oh, strawberry shortcake. Go. Oh, no, mint chocolate chip. Oh. oh. Well, there goes Cupcake and League of Sprites. Wow. Yeah, Cupcake was the winner of that very famous race where they oh, basically yes. didn't score. Through That's most how of it. All right. I know the crowd is crazy now because Strawberry Shortcake, if they come in last, but Strawberry Shortcake doesn't come in last. Strawberry Shortcake and mint chocolate chip still alive, Tom. And a blue one, which <laughs> one day I'll remember what it is called. I think it's... We'll remember uh, it if we need to. I think it's Wrecking Ball. Looking good for mint chocolate chip so far. Oh, but no, no, going a little too fast. You better slow down there. This could be any marble. Oh, you're going to have to find out the name of that marble, It's Tom. Wrecking Ball. Took out Strawberry Shortcake and mint chocolate chip. That disgusts me. Probably not near as much as the crowd, Tom. Now we have Fiesta Fajita, one of your favorites. We did. Split pea stew, which we're having for lunch. Um, where are we at now? Moving on to the final rosters here, because we have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. We need four more marbles. Mm -hmm. Well, Electro Knight, Mars Rover, Rover, <laughs> Geiger, Milky Way. Let me do some quick math here. Milky Way, Tom, really quickly while you're counting, I got a message from the sponsor, Charles, of Milky Way, and he wanted to assure me that this racer was named after the galaxy, not after the inferior candy bar. So thank you for reaching out, Charles. Duly noted. No, Destiny's not in this race. This is going to be a race of only six, I think. Let oh me count goodness. here. Six, six, and eight. But if I take this one out, then I have seven seven and five that is math so yeah just gonna be six here all right it's a short race they have a better chance of making it they do oh my goodness what an aggressive move to jump over the barriers that may be one of the most impressive races i've seen today all right well we're only taking out one on this on this particular race all right because everyone gets to race three times. That's in the contract they signed. Fiesta Vita, small but spicy. All right. It's well, it looks like close. Geiger's going to be in the final three, along with Fiesta Fajita. These two are out. So it's Fiesta Fajita, Geiger, and Milky Way. And Milky Way. Some heavy hitters in here, Tom. I think the crowd agrees that Milky Way is actually named after the candy bar, Mike. I got to tell you, I told you, Tom. The I actual tell you, I saw Milky Way gelato, and I had some, and it was amazing. Well, you can make anything gelato amazing, Tom. Oh, and Geiger for the wow. first time. Geiger makes it. This race is radioactive, baby. Count it. Next, we have Destiny. <laughs> we have Butterball. We have Wasp. We have one of the Kudzu brothers. Mm -hmm. Rise of Atlantis. Snake Eyes. And for goodness sake, drink your Ovaltine. Mm -hmm. Valkyrie in the audience is quite worried about Destiny's density. Oh. Yeah, well, they should be, because that's the fastest the marble's been taken there out yet. There you go. Oh, my goodness. The marbles the are just Brothers, falling. That's, that's two weeks the Country <laughs> Brothers weeks. have not even they tried. They don't even try. That's really embarrassing. I thing. can't even talk. You know, sometimes... Man, kids, if you're watching, don't be like those Don't marbles. be like the Kudzus. Well, they do have a lot of money, so. They do. But that's how life works, kids. That's right. Just because someone has a lot of money doesn't mean that we're going to look up to them. No. Here we go. Also, Here coming go. in last in races isn't usually the best thing to do. <laughs> no. But today, it's definitely the way to go. All right. So, Here we got we go. Rise of Atlantis. We have um, Wasp. And we have, um, oh, Snake Eyes. Snake Eyes still in the. These sound the... like three people from G.I. Joe. Ah, you're correct. Wasp, Snake Eyes, and what was it? Rise of Atlantis? Atlantis Rising, or whatever it's called. <laughs> you can never get that one right. Well, hey, you're the one who can spell the letters of more than four words. Wasp seems to have this. Oh! <laughs> oh! Wasp is in. I'm happy for that. Four letters, Mike. Four we have a few four-letter. Well, actually, only two, but I turned a couple of them into four letters. 
You do change a lot of things. In the I do. Letters. I make most of my words we in have the four-letter wa- words, Tom. It's one of my special powers. Ready, set, spaghetti. Oily to rise. Green fiesta. Cobalt. Swirly dervish. And fissure. Here we go. All right, here we are. Wow! Did you see Wah punch him in the face? I sure did. That happens a lot. Wah's a little bit of a bully. Well, (laughs) yes, he is. And unfortunately, he's still in the race. Wow. Took out Fisher. Ready, set, spaghetti is also in the race. They are. I heard our new track is more forgiving to those of great girth. (laughs) That's that's very good to hear, yes. We want, we want all marbles to be welcome here. No, no. No? Fair enough. Wah didn't... No! Wow, Wah made it all the way through, unfortunately. Too bad. So we got ready, set, spaghetti, swirly dervish here, and oily to rise. Mm. Probably oily to rise at the rate you're getting. That's about right, yeah, because I can just Only the oily. last. So if ready, set, spaghetti gets in, it's just going to be spa. There really? it is. No. Ready, set, spaghetti makes it into the finals, uh, folks. All right, spaghetti. Tom, there's some discontent in the audience. Claims that the reason some of these marbles are limited because you're not cleaning the track. Could you please set the record straight that you do not, in fact, clean the track? That is absolutely correct. <laughs> the track, there's still snow in the track from that one time we ran it. I wouldn't like to say the track is filthy. Istanbul. Rex. But the track is filthy, yes. He's, he's screwball scrambler. Tara, by the way, this is the final final entry here. Okay. Not a cheetah and Buzz, who if anything, if I know anything, is going to make the race just so I mix it up with Watts. That's correct. Very true. Wow, that was a good Only two marbles push. will be taken out in this particular race. All no, right. one marble. Sorry. Just one marble in the first race. Wow. All right. Well, Tara's going to still be in there. Sorry, Imperial Rex. Just like Twilight Imperium, your time is over. That's right. We're trying to get a rise out of our engineer. Mm-hmm. No, I'm down. Go! Here we go! This oh! Time, don't oh! have to worry about Buzz, Tom. We don't have to worry about Buzz. There's a Only Buzz one kill more right marble. there. Wow. The punch should be slightly less <laughs> on the nose. Really? Not a cheetah is out. <laughs> I gotta tell you, I like the nosy puns, Tom. All right. So our final thing here is gonna be um, Tara, one of your mm. favorites, and um, the Screwball Scrambler, and uh, whatever this one is. Istanbul. Istanbul. All right, here we go. Istanbul's been raised. Only the final one, the last. And it might be Istanbul. It looks like it's going to be Istanbul. He's just, just he's slowly just... making its way down. Yep, it's Istanbul. All it has right. to finish, though. Yes, it did. And Mike, that, the audience folks, has decided that your nose puns stink. That's fantastic. Sorry to deliver the news. All righty, so here we have our final races. I'm going to mix these up and see if I can remember their names. <laughs> Mike, you check them off as I read okay, them. Okay, good luck. Then we'll see which ones I've forgotten, okay? Okay, okay. So we have here, Slush Ball. Okay, yep. Ice Ice Baby. That's the coldest lane. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ready, set, spaghetti. Istanbul. Moonbeam. Um, are you sure about Unicorn me? Dreams is what I meant to say. <laughs> Uh huh. Wasp. Terrapin Titan. Um. Tony. I don't remember who Tony gets mixed up with. Um. Oh. Lava. Molten lava. Yes. Molten lava. Geiger. Um. Electron high. Um. Snake eyes in this, I think. No. No? All right, what's up? Or ashes, rising from the ashes? Nope. Rise? Nope. All right, tell me what we got left. We've got Bluey left. Bluey? Okay, that would be easy to remember. We've got TNT Dynamite. Yes, that's this one. We've got Duke of York. That's him. Red Sonia. That's her. Wrecking Ball. It's kind of a small wrecking ball. It All is, right. right? Ladies and gentlemen, here is how these races work. You, we are going to run 15 races. In each race, first place, we'll get nine points. Second place, we'll get seven Third place, we'll get five. Fourth place, we'll get three. Then two, then one point. However, the last person to finish gets 10 points. But you must finish last. You can't, If you don't finish, you don't get it. And if, for some reason, six or less finish, you'll get those 10 points in addition to your placing points. There's also a bunch of bonuses that we'll explain when they happen. 
Correct. Feeling pretty, uh, pretty Are good about ready? this one. <laughs> I'm feeling good. I do I add more points each week? It seems like it. It sure does, Tom. Alrighty, here we go. Race one of fifteen, and they're off. Now they count. Wow, cheering for wrecking ball. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was an aggressive move in the front. Who's going to get that elusive last point place finish? It's going to be Spaghetti. Ready, set, Spaghetti with a ten point start for being last yes okay so first place here is the duke of york nine points second place slush ball slush ball seven third place wasp with five fourth ice ice baby with three fifth place red sonia with two and sixth place tnt with one got it all right hey we're a well-oiled machine we got all the names right that's exciting Someday Ready, spaghetti has gotten quite a cheer from the audience. They are chanting "Molto bene." Someday my grandkids will be like, "Why can't you remember my birthdays?" And I'm gonna say, "Cause I have 280 marbles memorized in my head." <laughs> There's only so much space in this head. All right, here we go. Oh, of course. Yeah, that's good. Tony and uh, molten lava in the exact I know same which lane. one's which. You at do? a close glance, yes. <laughs> sure you do. All right, here we go. And bringing up the rear are Molten Lava and Tony. Of course they would race together. <laughs> Why not? Oh, oh, oh. Is that? That right, is. So which one is that, Tom? That is. That's the Fat Stripes. That's Molten Lava. So 10 points for Molten Lava. Then first place, Red Sonia. Nine for Red Sonia. Then uh, seven for uh, Unicorn Dreams. Got it. Five for Geiger. Got it. Three for Istanbul. Mm -hmm. Two for Wrecking Ball. Got it. <laughs> Did we give seven to TNT? No, we, they got one. So actually they got seven. Okay. And then change your seven to a five, change your five to a three, change your three to a two, and your two to a one. Yes. We got it. Mike just wrote down some wrong numbers. Oh, is that what it was? Interesting. Well, technically, okay. what I just said is, did I lie? Uh-huh. Did I lie? That was race two. After race three, we're going to give out some bonuses, possibly. Potentially. Actually, we got several several that have a chance to get bonuses. We do. Coming in last in this one, folks, is quite lucrative. So does last count as a placement for a place every... It does. Okay. All right. Here we, we go. Seven marbles placing. Ready, set, spaghetti. He's trying to get last twice. They really are. That would be a real... No, no. It's going to be a... No, no that would be a No, TNT comes in last place. TNT's going to get their 10 points. Sorry. Are you ready in comments? No, no. I just pressed the air button. Oh. <laughs> First place is Wasp with nine points. Nine for Wasp. Ice Ice Baby with seven. Unicorn Dreams with five. <laughs> Tony with three. Slush ball with two, and Geiger with one. All right, so let's see what we got here. All righty, so if you place in all three races, you get a bonus of five, and that's TNT. Um, Mike, just as a heads up, TNT is TNT, not T and ampersand T. Tom, this is my list. <laughs> T ampersand T is always going to be the way it is for me. Okay, good. <laughs> Don't try to blow anything up. And Unicorn placed in the same position twice, mm -hmm. giving them a bonus of five points. Those are the only two bonuses. And Terrapin Titan and Bluey and Electron High can still get the still no get placement. The no places. This race is hard to get the no placement in mm -hmm. because last place scores it for you. All right, that's the first three races. Are you as excited as I am? Tom, I couldn't be more excited. T and T. Well, what if I told you there was key lime pie here? Well, I guess I could be more excited. Is but that's that, not true. Try Is it tri nitro? No, what, what's the TNT stand for, Tom? You know what? I've already <laughs> used up my <laughs> degree of knowledge. Don't All be right. trying to. Chris, ask someone in the stands. We need to know what TNT stands Race for. Four. We definitely can't Google it. Here we go. I'll tell you what. It seems like most of the... Oh, that, wow! That you can was, tell everyone wants to be last. That was Tony, but Molten Lava's getting those 10 points. That's right. Tony is... Okay, so Molten Lava got last. Yep. Tony, Tony got first. Wow. Man, the orange and black marbles bookended that one. You sure did. Ice Ice Baby gets seven. Mm -hmm. Geiger gets five. Why am I, I always have a hard time finding Geiger. Got it. Okay. 
and Bluey is out of the no score zone with three. All right. Wasp gets two, and Electron High gets one. Wow, so there's only one. Terrapin, uh, Terrapin yeah. Titan. Titan is the only one that could get the zero points. Oh, but we got to remember that because Terrapin Titan won in the past. It has. It's a former champion. Loopy and Leanne from the chat are to the rescue with Tri Nitro Tolui. Okay, I knew it was Tri Nitro. I didn't know the last T. Okay. Apparently, it's Tri Ampersandalian. <laughs> Tom, this is science. You can't, you, you cannot question science. C6H2NO23CH3. For you the now know more audience. things than you wanted. I thought that was the name of someone in chat. I thought that's a hard name to remember. Here we go. Race number five. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, it looks it looks oh. like oh, oh know, who's gonna be ready set spaghetti's here. not gonna even get in the get in it. Yeah, ready set spaghetti gets no points. So that is And um, neither does Terrapin Titan, but that, they want Istanbul. That. Istanbul is last. Gets ten. Okay. Then first place is Wrecking Ball with nine. Got it. Second place is Duke of York with seven. Mm-hmm. Then we have Tony with five. We have Unicorn Dreams with three. Red Sonia with two, and Geiger with one. Terrapin Titan still hasn't scored. They still have not. And then, That's and clever. They're just trying to keep themselves completely out of the mix. They're not even making it to the end of the track, Tom. That I'm is getting, a, uh, slow getting, and steady. That's what they say about the Terrapins. I'm getting conflicting reports here that TNT does, in fact, stand for Terrapin Titan. Can you tell me the name of the person who said that? <laughs> Deletant Designs, who I believe is the person who sent in... Uh, Geiger. Ah, okay. I so, know they didn't. They're not the ones that sent in Terrapin Titan. You know, I have my little black light here, and I can't find it. It was sitting on the table just a moment ago. Is it in my pocket? Because that would be weird. It's not. All right. <laughs> oh, you're trying to. to I was going to show people that Geiger glowed, but ah. all righty. Can we just use the? No, we no. can't. Okay. This is race six. Here we go, race six. Oh, Geiger going for last place. They are Geiger. Clear really... last place. Geiger's waiting to be lit up. Wow, Geiger is oh, oh nice, no chance. nice ice, ice baby coming in last. All right, first place, Red Sonia with nine, Slush Ball with seven, Duke of York with five, Bluey with three, two points to um, the, no, the the flaming one, whatever it's called, Molten Lava, Molten Lava. Okay. And Unicorn Dreams with one. All right, bonus time, Tom. All righty, nobody placed in all three races, which is unusual. Mm -hmm. Nobody got the same place twice. Oh, no, Bluey got fourth place twice. That's five bonus points for Bluey, which doesn't really help them much. But, hey, mm -hmm. that's all I'm seeing. And Terrapin, I'm, Terrapin Titan still Terrapin in the mix. Terrapin Titan is still in the mix. They They're up to points, a right? bonus of, of 10. Yes. They could get 30 if they could score no wow. points in the next three rounds. If Terrapin Titan can go six more, they'll get a bonus of 60, which has only been done once by Cupcake. Cupcake, who ended up winning that entire race. That was a crazy day. I still remember the clothes I was wearing. <laughs> which isn't really hard. No. It, was a, it was a tie, suspenders, and um, some pants. Hopefully pants. Some pants, yes. <laughs> no one knows. There's no, no cameras was, in here. That was the pant-free day, Tom. I think you, that was the day you came without pants. If You, you got half price off your tickets. <laughs> That's correct. Here we go. This is race seven. Oh, Red oh, Sonia was taking, oh wow! Sonia, oh my are, goodness, are they're left dropping right. like flies, Tom. We're gonna do a fly race. Then you mentioned <laughs> it. All right. So Istanbul comes in last place with ten points. That's it's the second time they've second been there. Second time, yeah. First place is Bluey. Bluey heard my words of encouragement. Mm -hmm. Then Wasp with seven. Ice Ice Baby with five. Ready Set Spaghetti with three. Molten Lava with two, and Wrecking Ball with one. All right. Terrapin Titan still has not mm, scored. Really, really uh, pretty pretty impressive to go this long without so a score. So if Terrapin Titan, if people start rooting for him to score, are they cheering for them or against them? It's confusing. It's hard to say, Tom. Oh, my goodness. Trying to get off the track before it's time. Here we go. This is race eight. Race, We're halfway, race folks. number eight. Here we go. Coming out of the gate fast. They're all busting. Oh, my goodness. Ready, set, spaghetti just acts like it doesn't even want to be here. Yeah, but oh, not to be Terrapin here. Titan has just lost. Oh, did you see Electron High just mm -hmm. trying to cheat there? 
So Slush Ball gets the 10 points. All right. And then we give nine points to Bluey. Wow, Bluey is... is that's that's two woo! first place finishes. Then uh, seven points to Istanbul. Mm-hmm. Five points to Red Sonia. Three points to Duke of York. Two points to Terrapin Titan. Oh, and one point to Ice Ice Baby. Yep, Terrapin Titan just flew too close to the sun there, Tom. I was trying to... Trying to pull off that really impressive maneuver. And just I wouldn't could not mind do if it. someone named a uh, Marble Icarus. That would give us would a decent nice. amount of jokes. Yeah. All right. Um, that being said, Bluey was doing pretty terribly, not and now anymore, they are on Tom. fire. In fact, if Bluey here gets another nine, another first place, mm -hmm. then that would be a bonus of 10 plus the 27 points, putting them easily in first. Sure seems like that As would be As it the is, case. Bluey's already catching up in the top half of the Marbles for getting two first place in a row. Here we go. Wow. Don't know who got lost there, but. Duke of York. All right, so Blue decided to not score at all. Of course. All right. Slush Ball gets another 10. Slush Ball with 10. Wow, that's two. That's two last places mm. in a row. First place, Wrecking Ball with nine. Uh, yes. Then uh, Istanbul with seven. Red Sonia with five. Uh, Geiger with three, Ice Ice Baby with two, and Wasp with one. Tom, Tom, we've got a whole lot of bonuses in this particular. We do, and they're really good for Istanbul. Not only did they get, they placed every round, but they also got two second places, giving them a 10-point bonus. And then Red Sonia got a five-point bonus for coming in the same place twice. Bluey got a five-point bonus for coming in the same place twice. Slushball gets a five-point bonus for coming in last twice. And Ice Ice Baby places every time. All right, at this point after race nine, uh, we have three more races before we eliminate eight of the marbles, and Mike's going to do some of his talented adding. Meanwhile, what's the crowd been saying, Chris? Well, the crowd has really been noticing the fourth camera added to the marble race. and they That's are... true. We'd like to thank uh, Roy Canada for coming in and running our cameras. Well, not only did we add a fourth camera, we also added a third. <laughs> we... we uh, the audience isn't really liking the third camera. Oh, really? No. <laughs> <laughs> they say four or bust. <laughs> well, well, Roy says we could go to five, um, but we'd have to get a fifth camera. There's or, also a, a the amount of money right now being pointed at, at a marble ramp <laughs> is considerably high. There also seems to be a lot of confusion within the audience as there are cheers for. Marbles that aren't even in the race, including Grandma's new hip, who is still recovering from the recent accusations that she, that she is, in fact, a kidney stone. Okay. Uh, They're very, very different things, by the way. That was Grandpa. All right, but anyway, continue. Who else is there? Um, People are probably still cheering for Strawberry Shortcake, even though... They're not in the race, and Root Beer Float, even though Root Beer Float hasn't even been in the finals for who knows how long. Yes, yes, there were there were strong words levied at one Tom Vassell about the fairness of Root Beer Float's race, but bygones be bygones, and Byzantiums be Byzantiums, as that is one of the marbles being cheered for. Is that, are we calling Istanbul Byzantium? All right, Tom, I finally have the uh, results here. Now, this was, uh, you were a little bit cruel to me by making me go through nine rows of addition before our first subtotal but i your teacher at elementary told you this might happen she I, also told you you wouldn't have a calculator in your pocket i always you assumed it. she'd lied all right so I, I'll, I'll try the best i can to start from the we lowest. know terrapin titan is in last place no uh electron high has only one point tom <laughs> <laughs> sorry electron high uh but number two is terrapin titan with two points and then we've got uh, a couple here with 13 we've got geiger and ready set spaghetti with 13 uh we've got uh wrecking ball with 20 we've got uh i've missed a couple why don't you just read them straight down and all right here we go that's a much better way tom ice ice baby with 38 Electron High with 1, Unicorn Dream with 19, Slush Ball with 41, but not in the lead there, Molten Lava with 24, Tony with 17, Bluey with 34, TNT, uh, Dynamite with 23, Duke of York with 24, Terrapin Titan 2, 37 for Red Sonia, Geiger with, or excuse me, Wrecking Ball with 20, Geiger with 13, Wasp with 24, Ready Set, set Spaghetti with 13, and our leader is Istanbul with 46 
points. Woo! Three last plate, no, two last place finishes and a 10 point bonus. All right, folks, after these three races, we're eliminating the bottom eight marbles. Here we go. Now, race. Istanbul comes from a racing family. Its father, Constantinople, was also a great champion marble racer, wasn't he? Some, some people say they're the same, but I don't know. Here we go. Here we go. Now these races are taking on increased Take gravity, back. Tom. Come on, Geiger, last place, Geiger. Come on, Geiger. Oh, oh. yes, Geiger. Ten points. Oh, I'm not biased. No, Sorry. not at all. Ten points for Geiger. Uh, Red Sonia, though, comes in first with nine. Uh, why am I not seeing? There Starts we go, nine. Uh, then Ice Ice Baby with seven. Mm -hmm. Electron High is trying with five. Um, the Duke of York getting three. Wasp with two. And Molten Lava with one. All right. It's in the books. Interesting. Uh, Istanbul came in seventh there. Oh. He got too confident. Too yep. confident too in that lead. Too confident. Really? But then again, he might just be preserving his thing for those final races. It's saving it up for when it really counts, Tom. Also, after this, folks, we're going to be giving bonuses to the number of places that you get. So, just so we we always give a lot of places if you get a lot of lasts. But if you get, you'll get twenty points for getting the most last places. That'd be mm, interesting. That sure will. Here we go, race number eleven. Eleven. Here we go. Wow, coming out with some aggression. Tony is trying so hard to come in last, but Ready he pushed electron getty. high. Oh, Tony, 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 Tony. Oh, oh, yeah. Electron High is really trying here with 10 points. 10 points for Electron High. Which is too bad for Istanbul coming in back there. All mm -hmm. right. Ready, set, spaghetti with nine. Got it. Eight, uh, uh, seven for uh, Ice Ice Baby. Okay. Wrecking Ball with five. Wrecking Ball with five. Bluey with three. Okay. Molten Lava with two. And the Duke of York with one. All right. Well, we've got two second place finishes so far for Ice Ice Baby. If they can pull off a third, that would be uh, that would be pretty impressive. That would be impressive. That would be 15 points. That would be really good. No, it actually would be 20 points because they'd place every column and get triplicate numbers. Here we go. All right, Ice Ice Baby, can they pull off the a last second place? Race before Not elimination happens. That's definitely not happening, Ice Ice Baby. Sorry. You blew it. Oh, they oh. did place, though. Last place, Terrapin Titan with 10. Wow. Okay. Is that enough? We'll find out. It's not. First place. <laughs> <laughs> First place, Tony with 9. Tony with 9. Then Duke of York with 7. Mm -hmm. TNT, 5. It's been a while since I said that name. Yep. Uh, Molten Lava with 3. Ice Ice Baby with 2. And Red Sonia with 1. All right, we've got some bonuses here, We Tom. do. This is going to be exciting here. First of all, five bonus points to York. Um, the Duke of York. Mm -hmm. Sorry, someone here shortens names down. <laughs> five points for Molten Lava and ten points for Ice Ice Baby. But now we're going to go back and do bonuses. Who has the most first places? That would be nine points. I see that Bluey did it twice and Wrecking Ball did it twice. Oh, no one gets points in case of a tie. Sorry. Second places gets 10 points. Istanbul did that twice. Oh, Ice Ice Baby did it four yeah, times. Ice Ice Baby has been all four over second times. place. Four times. That's an extra 10 points for Ice Ice Baby. 15 points for third places. That's fives. Uh, let's see. Red Sonia did it twice. Did no one else do it even more than? Oh, no. No, Unicorn did it once. I'm checking here. This that that's looking good for Red Sonia. No one else did it twice. I guess not. Wow, that's an easy 15 points for Red wow. Sonia. And then fourth place, 20 points for getting the most fourth places. That's a bunch of threes. Let's see. Duke of York did it twice. Bluey did it three times. That's it. 20 points for Bluey. 25 points for getting the most fifth places. Wow. The twos. Yeah, but that's not you're not having a great day if that happens. Mm -hmm. I don't know if this ever Oh, and that's happened to Molten Lava three times. Wow. So Molten Lava just got a 30 point bonus. Let's see if that helps. And sixth place, coming in sixth place. Um Geiger did that twice. And that is it, actually. Only Geiger. All right. That's that's 
30 points for Geiger. Mm. And then 20 points for coming into most last places. Um, Slushball did it twice. And Istanbul did it twice. And I'm sorry, but there's no tiebreakers, so no one gets those bonus points. All right, Mike's going to add those together, folks. Fantastic. Meanwhile, Chris, what do we got? Well, the audience has been calling for Roy to uh, do a recount of Mike's work, and I wouldn't subject him to that. (laughs) Oh, you wouldn't be able to read anything. No. I have to make a new eye appointment every time I read Mike's scores. My scores are impeccable, Tom. That's true. Mike has neat writing. There should be a more efficient way to do that. Um, you might keep the glasses after you use them once. <laughs> They're not disposable? No one has explained this to me. All righty. Anything else? No other, no other comments or questions? Well, there was a small uptick in uh, Cheers for Strawberry Shortcake upon mention of her. So I'm going to blame that one squarely on you, Tom. I accept it. I accept it. Folks, if you're watching and you want your marbles to be in a race, email me at tom at dicetower.com. Realize at some point, we're getting closer and closer to that point, not every marble is going to be in every race. <laughs> it's, we're at, uh, I don't know how many marbles we have here. One, two, three, four, five, six, 24. So there's, uh, there's over 100 marbles. We ran 16 races of eight. That's 80 plus 48, 128 minus around, there's, a, there's a, between 120 and 123 marbles. All right, Tom, we've got the updated numbers. Got it. Now, now you're going to have to tell me from the bottom eight here. Okay, from the bottom. And we're not going to tell the top eight scores because we want to keep that exciting. Okay, gotcha. So, in last place, Tom, I'm going to going to put on my artificial eyes here to make sure I do this correctly. In last place, Terrapin Titan with 12 points. Oh, he tried there. That's better than the, the two he had earlier. Did he really try, Tom? And next, we've got... Electron High with 16. Got it. Next, we've got Unicorn Dreams of being third from last with 19 points. Sorry, Unicorn Dreams. Then we've got Ready, Set, Spaghetti with ah, 22 points. I had such high hopes, Ready, Set, Spaghetti. By the way, I... Tear Titan actually has 22 points because I did get the 10 bonus points for not scoring twice. Ah, okay. But they still would have been in the bottom eight. Correct. Now we've got two tied with 26 points apiece. Oh, no, no, sorry. Wrecking Ball with 25. Wow, Wrecking Ball I thought was doing well. They were not, Tom. Next, with tied with 26, we've got Tony and Wasp. Well, they do cut a striking image as they go down there. Don't they look good? I think they look good. We have one more, right? Yep. Our last one out, Tom, with 28 points. T, ampersand, T, dynamite. 28 points. Man, that was a lot of talking about somebody who eventually, he's he's the best of the worst. I'd like to make a plea to the audience. If you'd like to send in a marble, I would love to see one named Sir Loin of Beef. That would be my choice. If I were going to name a marble, that would be my name. Sir Loin of Beef. Although that's a really long name. Please don't take my word on that. Change <laughs> it to it. just beef. So here's our final eight. <laughs> we have Molten Lava. We have Bluey. Uh-huh. We have Geiger. We have Duke of York. We have Ice Ice Baby. We have Slush Ball, Istanbul, and Red Sonia. Place your bets. If you want to know how to place a bet, you send it to through PayPal to dicetower at gmail.com. <laughs> It's a guaranteed loss. <laughs> no money will come back to you. This is true. All right. But either way, pick your winner now, folks. We got three races. Don't forget the final race. Everything is doubled. There are no more bonuses. No more bonuses. Here we go. Here we go. Although last is still 10 points. The last is still 10 points all, right. all the way to the end. That's a 20 point last place. That's correct. Here yeah. we go. Well, not for. Not, Blue oh, is not even going to try. Not even gonna, yeah, that's a shame. Who's going to be slush ball? No. Yeah, it is slush Now, ball. actually, this almost came where someone got double points. Remember, I told you that could happen. Um, because if, oh. you, if there was a six or less. Right. All right, but that didn't happen. So, last place, slush ball with ten. Got it. Geiger gets first with nine. Mm-hmm. Istanbul gets seven. Molten Lava gets five. Red Sonia with three. Slush ball with two. And Duke of York with one. Wait, wait, wait. 
You told me Slush Bowl was... Ice Baby gets two, sorry. Oh. <laughs> Ice Ice Baby gets two, sorry. And number one is... Duke of York. Duke of York, all right. Everyone scored except Bluey. How does that feel, Bluey? Probably not very good. My, my taunting him probably didn't help. I'll uh, probably have to go Let's see how he reacts, Tom. Certain racers do well with that type of uh, That's criticism. That's true. Bluey, you're terrible. No one likes you. All right, Coach Vassal. Here we go. Race 14. I learned everything from Coach Jackson. <laughs> Look at that. See? You motivated oh him. No, you didn't. Oh, you did. Okay. Woo. Well, now I know what to do with my kids. There you go. <laughs> All right. Last place, Molten Lava with 10. I got it. First place, Bluey with 9. Mm -hmm. Istanbul with 7. Geiger with 5. Slushball with 3. Duke of York with 2. And Red Sonia with 1. All right. Here we go. Our final race. Everything counts double. It does. A 20-point wow, swing. Woo. This could be big, Tom. I will tell you, I'm not giving too much away, but there was a pretty close spread there at the top at the beginning of this uh, last round of three. So I do think that just about anything could happen. All right, I'm not going to score in Bluey because I don't want to give him encouragement. I mean, I want, any, I want everyone to do well, especially Geiger. <laughs> no bias at all. Uh-huh. Here we go, the final race. The last shall be first. Okay, I should have yelled at Bluey. You really should have. Bluey, Bluey is not, he misunderstood. You're Bluey in it. <laughs> oh, well, Geiger's going to do all right there with 18 points. All right, so last Duke of York comes in with wow, 20 points. Wow, that's a big push for them. 18 for Geiger. 14 for Ice Ice Baby. 10 for Molten Lava. Uh, six for uh, Red Sonia. Okay. Four for Slush Ball. And two for Istanbul. All right. Here we go. The All right. Final numbers. This is interesting. Who were most people rooting for? Well, besides, besides uh, Root Beer Float. <laughs> Yes, besides Root Beer Float. I'm going to take that marble out of the race. <laughs> Istanbul is quite quite the fans, but Geiger, you might say that the fans are radioactive. You might, but you then you think better of it and you wouldn't say it. Oh, really? I don't want to hear nothing over there. Look, I've been impeccable in my humor today. No, it's an actual concern that Geiger is radioactive. And next race, we might have a splash zone where we hand out lead-lined ponchos for the audience. That's going to that cost be, us a bit of money. That would be a splash show that I think I would not. The kids would be like, let's do it. I'd be like, ah. Let's go to a different exhibit, actually. <laughs> Tom, I'm thinking that Geiger is the fan favorite here. And if Geiger does not win, there might be some... Some riding? Some, uh, I'm all for riding. Whatever marbles do. They, they roll I it. Oh, my goodness. They roll to it. They'll get around to it. I don't know. All right, Tom. We've I'm got the final the numbers. All right, I, give me eighth place. Eighth place with 58 points. That's pretty impressive. Not bad. Slush Ball. Oh, wow. I thought Slush Ball had been doing better. I thought they were a favorite to win. They were not. All right. Seventh place with 62 points. Istanbul. You know what? That's just a clear. They did not do well in the final three races. They were doing well going into yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. They could not. And that was a bad final three race. Could not sustain that uh, momentum. With sixty-three is the Duke of York. Duke, 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 Duke of, of York. York. All right. Next with sixty-six points, made a strong push. Bluey, and they didn't even finish half the races. Wow. You know, I was actually expecting Bluey to be last place here since they didn't finish two. Which means, Bluey, that you really did Bluey it you because sure did. you went in so with such a good score. And you still, it's still taking 20 minutes to get down to the end. Okay. <laughs> well, you know, you can show off. That's true. Here. With 70, Red Sonia. Oh, this is interesting. All right, Tom, so we're to our top we three. We got Geiger, Molten Lava, and Ice Ice Baby. If you mix all three of those, <laughs> that's a problem. That's a delicious dessert. Tom, third and second place are tied. Well, then actually, they're both second, Mike. That's they're how that works. They're both second for tied for second place. So, what's Tom? the points, though? Tell us the points. In second place, 85 points. Yeah, what's first place? First place, 
90 points. I told you this was a very this close. This was a close race. I'm right. so scared. Tied for second place with 85 points each is Molten Lava and Geiger. Oh, no. Your winner, ladies and gentlemen, with 90 points. A lot of bonuses helped. Ice Ice Baby. I believe that's Ice Ice Baby's second win. I believe I... you are correct, Tom. Huh? 90 points. Stop. Collaborate and listen. Congratulate Ice Ice Baby on its second victory. And sometimes folks, the last is first. All righty. Thank you, everyone who sent in marbles. Thank you. By the way, if you like this particular marble track, you can find it at letsrollmarbles.com. But... Um, I, I did buy it. They didn't yes. give me anything to say that we're getting a better one <laughs> soon, but not yet. Um, but anyway, thank you to Mike for doing the scoring and commenting. Tom, and it's been a blast. For Chris in the stands and Roy running our cameras, making us seem more professional than we... Oh, well, my goodness. For a moment. Roy's letting the power go to his head, Tom. <laughs> uh, and for Holly Vassal, keeping all the marbles in place with these... <laughs> oh, you uh, thanked her too soon, Tom. That's, isn't that Kimura? <laughs> All right, anyway. Until next time, folks. I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Mike Delicio. I'm Chris Yee. He's Roy Candidate. And you've been watching Shoots and Marbles.